Yeah, here's a different one. I, I've, I'm saying that a lot lately, I know. But also, ignore that low battery thing in the corner. My controller swears up and down that it's not low battery, but the game thinks it is. So, um, this is an unusual game in a few ways. Um, on one hand, the general concept of this game is that it's you stuck on an island with a bunch of old Nintendo characters. I won't give too much more than that, because, I mean, we'll actually start the game and you can see. But that's... I think that's a cool, remarkable thing. Nintendo being infamously protective of how anything of theirs is ever depicted. This is an unusual thing to see. I feel like I should probably sit through the opening sequence here. So, this game was only ever released in Japan, but there is a translation patch I'm using that claims to be like 90% complete. I've seen pushback on how complete it really is. If at any point we come across it, it's not translated, I'll have to uh, I'll have to improvise. Um, or that I mean, I'll have to translate on the spot, I guess, with some substantial effort. But as long as I don't have to do a ton of that, that should be okay. I think that's the end of the title here. I haven't played a Wii game in a while. I don't have a very good setup for my. Eh from my sense of power anymore. All right, here we go. It's really satisfying to do. All right. Mameka. Huh, Mame? I thought it was Mamerica originally. I, I always figured the name was supposed to literally just be America with an M on the front or something. And clearly this guy is supposed to be from the US. Also, they literally call it the country of freedom here. Yeah, I have not seen this translation before. I have seen the game. So, I may occasionally complain <laughs> about the translation choices, I don't know. Also, in my opinion, the voice grunting in this game is unusually good. There's something I find very entertaining about it. Naturally, you'll find that this being a, a game only, only ever released in Japan, it's a very Japanese game with a very Japanese sense of humor. Amusingly with a very non-Japanese protagonist, but here we are. But this is, a, this is something that... There are definitely reasons this didn't get vocalized, but I like giving attention to things that don't get much otherwise. And also, I think it's also worth letting people see, hey, someone actually did work pretty hard on getting most of this game translated. It's surprising to see something get most of the way done and then not finished, actually. It's the sort of thing where usually the closer something gets to being finished, the more likely it is to get finished, but I don't know. Huh, what is that indeed? In fact, they, now would have been a good time for the first transformation sequence to be animated, but I guess we'll get that later. Indeed, without a moment's thought, because... Should have thought about that part. <laughs> okay, so this is basically the narrator's catchphrase. I would have personally translated it as allow me to explain, but fine. You'll hear that phrase a lot. Ta da! I forgot the, the, the stinger playing every single time. Well, more than that. Can't let his toe touch the water. I assure you this has something to do with Nintendo. <laughs> It'll happen eventually.
All things considered, I think this game actually does look nice. It has an odd art style, but like the water and whatnot, particularly looking out under the water actually looks really nice. Is that little gray dude just walking around with a... Oh, is yours supposed to do that? I was gonna say like a very elderly looking rabbit thing. I don't think I noticed they had the stick they used as a cane the first time I saw the scene actually. I don't know how I wouldn't because they're clearly using it now. I don't know. Losing the belt. Wanna get up, dude? Yeah, I gotta press a button. Here we go. Can I. Oh boy. This game has some usage of the pointer, it's just gonna be rough for me. Dazzling. Hello. That'll mean something eventually, but not today. Eh, where's my cursor? Eh, there you go. Oh yeah, right, you can mess with, mess with the foliage this way. Hey, oh, well, never mind. Is there more over here? I guess I'll have to eat another day. Okay, whatever. Sign. You shouldn't push this. That is a really funny thing to me in this game. So you can interact with things from from afar and from close close up. From afar, it's usually just examining them. If you do it close up, you usually interact with it somehow. But if you examine a sign from afar, it shows you the same text on the sign, but really small. <laughs> you have to squint to see it, which is just really funny to me. Jeez, come on. There we go. Charge. Hey. Oh boy. I keep forgetting my nunchuck has problems where it just stops working from time to time. Oh boy. Don't run that way, Nick. Okay. That would be good to keep on hand, actually. The gear schist. Hello? I think we need to get rid of that rock next to it, is my guess. Which I cannot do right now. Okay. There's actually more stuff you can do on this little beach than I remembered. Uh, I guess you, I think you can only carry one type of each shell at a time. We'll see all about picking up shells later. It's kind of an odd part of this game. Okay. Fruit. Nope. Fruit's gone. Forever. Fantastic. Okay. That's probably all we can do down here for the time being, though. Hello. Bird. This game actually does have a decent amount of wildlife. Yeah. This game does have a decent amount of wildlife. We'll probably see more about that. Maybe sometime soon? Get up here! Oh, actually, hit him. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't realize I could do that. I think I didn't think you're supposed to be able to catch up to them. Okay, not that time. Let's try it. I 
Oh. Yeah. yeah, this is their good word. Good translation for that it's flower seeing. I guess we don't have a good single phrase for that. Or expression. Yeah, stop jumping around. Yeah, I was wondering how they translate this character's stuff. Because the thing is, she's a super, clearly very super Japanese character. But that didn't stand out, well, I guess it stood out a little bit because she spoke in an old-fashioned way in the original Japanese. So it was still noticeable. But naturally, in an English translation, you just make her, well, speak in a very Japanese fashion, I guess? Oh. Okay, no, that's not exact. <laughs> that's not how I expect her to speak, but okay, I'll take it. Wait. This is not how I imagined her speaking, but sure, I'll take it. Nick boy. Picture paper show. Some women are freaking out, man. <laughs> oh, well, they're on their way, I guess. That, that, that's not what I envisioned being on their way to look like, but okay. Bye. Is, is, is that how they. Is that their form of locomotion? They just fade out of existence? Dick Boy. <laughs> Sorry, for some reason Dick Boy is really funny to me. That is the thing right behind me. Uh, I guess I could say no, but I have nothing else to do, so... That's Nick's signature thing, just thumbs up on everything. That is why you see a thumbs up prompt to advance the text, for instance. As in, you'll be waiting there, or...? Okay, that's, that's what you meant. What is this little thing? It's the theater. Watching the trees is a weird way of phrasing that, but just as well. Cherry trees, don't we actually call those cherry blossoms? Whatever. I'm kind of tempted to run around and look here. I thought originally that literally just said no fishing. I could be wrong. I can't. It's just like, is that physically impossible or am I not allowed or what? I, I'm not sure what that means. I can't sit here. Hello. No, shoot. I should have actually looked at where some of these characters are from, because I actually don't remember what this dude's from. Is he from anything? Hi. I see, they, the way they... So this guy's text is written in a very low body way in Japanese. I guess their equivalent was to write it in all caps, and which, that works. I do like his theme. <laughs> okay, the, the Nick actually getting in lowercase is funny. Hi. Mappo. There we go. So some characters are strictly small. Well, yeah, all the characters are, in some sense, Nintendo characters. Some are original to this game. Like, Hikari is original to this game, I believe. I'm actually not sure if Mappo is original to this game or not. I don't I don't think he is. I need to look up. I was planning on looking up who is from where, and I kind of forgot to. My mistake. Marks from who? Aren't you like the only law enforcement on this island? <laughs> Very few normal people here. 
I mean, depending on your definition of normal, that might be correct. Anyways. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. And I believe if you turn the remote upside down... Here we go. <laughs> I love that. Sometimes it's just little things like that that are weirdly fun to be able to do in games. The eyeballs are poisonous? Okay, that's strange. Hello. Nothing behind the waterfall. Oh. Hold on. Aha! Yeah, so every if you just wave your controller around on the screen all the time, you'll occasionally see hidden memes like that. And I think it gets explained later what their deal actually is. Anyways, we could explore a bit. I think what we'll do now... I will let this episode go a little bit longer than the other ones. We usually will. First save. Yeah, I could explore, but I think in favor of that I'll... Rather, not in favor of that. I'll just head on to the shrine. And I can get the... Prerequisite lore and so on from Hikari. Or maybe not much lore, but something. Oh yeah, I forgot there was that mirror up there. It's always cool how people do mirror effects in games like this. Yes, the Mimin. I'll probably tend to call them Mimin as the plural, just I guess because it's usually how you pluralize. Well, you don't pluralize things, anyways. He is nodding very enthusiastically in response. Oh, or given to me by some old rabbit, but... But I have a wish. Hold on. Yeah. There you go. Which one? I think there's precisely one thing that this, this can do, and it actually doesn't matter yet. I think there's only one... Th I think there's precisely one thing that this can do. Okay, awkward translation there, but yeah, you can only do that one once per day. But right now it doesn't even matter, so... <laughs> Shrine. Futon. Can I not, like, read it? Okay. Okay, I will have to work out some more reliable way of... Oh, I was trying to look at the one towards the back. Okay. 
死んでみ何個かしくつ何個シートかしくつ何個で死んでみ何個かしくつせたれせこでめてよ何個気にいめてよかしくつてかおかな Who's they? Aren't you the only person who knows this stuff? Behind this wall, but like, aren't there just like building walls on the other three sides of this room?、Oh. I feel like this is like putting a window on a bank vault. Nick Boy to finish off that sentence. Is that actually written in English? Jeez, I cannot read that, but I think it's actually Latin text. I'm curious what that's up. That's a good way of putting it. Okay. <laughs> Calm down on the phonetic writing, translator. Jeez. I feel like it's getting more intense. Much with us yet. Very mysterious, really. Person shaped dent. Alright, l now is probably a good time to,、uh, to take a break then. So, next time, I think we just head out into the world and things go from there. Bye, everyone. This will be an interesting adventure. <laughs>